This is your Solana Daily Debrief. It's the 23rd of July. Make sure you watch this one to the end, quickly to the actual token prices. Solana's dipped down slightly. We have a little bit of a dip in general, but nothing too crazy. Now to Bitcoin news. Mt. Gox moving some more Bitcoin. We'll see what happens. Maybe the price goes down. BlackRock, daily BTC flows, BTC flows, 523 million. And here's a post here, just to put into perspective that the veterans, the veteran holders, they're not selling it and they tend to know what's up. Now onto Solana news, specifically Infinex. Infinex, oh, the research I've done into this has been absolutely insane. So incredibly bullish. And I'll be speaking with Kane in a podcast later tonight. And then they'll be recorded, edited, and then I'll get that out as fast as I can on Wednesday. So if you have any decent questions, I've got a couple of minutes free, hopefully, for questions. If you've got any decent questions, put them in this video now in the next, well, before, before tonight, and I'll read them and then uh, put them in. And then you can watch that podcast tomorrow. Infinex, if you don't know, I've got a video on it, so you can go watch my video on this. But essentially, this is going to be something that's going to rival Binance, to be perfectly honest. I think there will be billions of dollars of TVL. There will be so many different things you can do, and you'll, it'll be in a far more protected way. I'm very, very excited for this. But right now, all that's being built, and what our actionable is, is if you want to actually get into this, use my referral link below. But you can go and get a deposit by boost, lasting until the end of crate run and it ends uh it says it ends friday july 26 um okay so i guess this boost runs until then but then your actual boost will run until the end of crate run so you don't have too many days to get into this three days and these are the assets that, that are supported so if you have any of these assets you can support them in remember when you deposit the assets into infinex you're not actually getting anything uh, like they're not actually taking your assets and putting them to work or anything like that. It's just an awareness campaign. So all these here, uh, basically all these top ones are EVMs, but we do have dupe, Ray, JTO, and W. So if you're not staking your dupe, or if you have some Ray or JTO or W, put it in. These may be in governance as well, but um, this could be very, very worthwhile. And this is, uh, here's my crate run. So thanks for people that are using referrals. This is my tutorial account. I've got more funds in my main account. So I'm going to go and open these crates. We'll see if we've, what we've got in, in terms of anything. Thus far, I've got a patron ticket, which is uncommon, and a couple of boosts. There are still some prizes that can be won, like I think the 450 million bonk. Someone would be lucky enough to win that. While this is doing all the stuff and opening the crates, basically, when you have a look at this DAP, you control the private key in a far more simple way. And by controlling that private key in a far more simple way, you can be protected from rugs and signing bad, you know, transactions. And this is supposed to be something which really does rival the fact that the majority of people are just going to go and trade on Binance. They're going to go and buy a token, sell a token, buy a token, sell a token. And I, I think this is really cool. All right. So I had a couple of wins, 500 boosts and two $1,000 boosts. So cool. We'll just go and stake that. Um, obviously, these would be the really cool things, but hey, this is still cool. Or this, a million dollar boost. That would be amazing. Okay, this is the video. Go and watch it. Next bit of news is from Meow. And you can read this because it's not my specialty, meme coins. And I don't think I'm ever going to be really, really good at meme coins, to be honest. So Irene is the next person in a PPP meme coin kind of experiment. She's well known from the previous cycle from creating like a token and then having like like this simp DAO, you know, like some guys that are like overly infatuated with a woman and oh yes, 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 I'll do anything. So, I mean, she's a pretty girl and she, yeah, she had thousands of men that were just like, I'll buy your token, whatever. Anyway, um, there's plenty of fun on this. So let's cover that. First though, uh, Ansem apparently helped out with some of these ideas and motivations. He's very familiar with meme coins. So maybe that's quite cool. Here are some points that Meow said. So we're trying to see if we can build a permissionless launchpad focus on cat principles. If we do the mechanics correct, the team should be aligned to do the right things. So this is not about the team having an allocation and just dumping because that's what happens right now, right? You, you ape into something, there's a dev wallet with a massive supply and then boom, they've just made a million dollars. We need a high profile tester and they're pretty down to test. She fits this very well because FUD or no for no FUD, you need attention. This is high profile. It is a risk for them as well. They can just do a pump and dump. Um, don't know. That's a, maybe a little bit of a con context. I guess maybe this is a risk 
of doing that this way because they could just launch their own thing and do a pump and dump. Maybe that's what's been saying. I will clarify later that I am not endorsing, but they are one of the first users. And moving forward, we will not talk about the project anymore, but focus on the mechanics. Uh, also, Dupe Dale gets 5 cent. I worked hard for that. Now, the thing is, Meow is a genius. He's a speed talking genius, to put it in my way. But basically, it's all about attention in this economy. And you want to try something new. People going and doing stuff anonymously and just rugging the hell out of something. Go and try something that works. Essentially, it's a trial by fire. Some people are going to say it's a terrible idea. Some will say it's a great idea. The point is, you don't have to go and ape into this. But you want to, you want to follow it along. Maybe you want to go and allocate some funds. We don't have all the details yet. Now, Zach XBT has this point here. How basically... Um, with her previous simp project or whatever uh the early investors were rugged i don't have i mean this is this is what it did right it didn't do very well but that's common in in everything this is obviously going to have a lot of valid points zach xbt he has a huge amount of knowledge in the space and he will call out anybody right but at the end of the day it's an experiment we'll, we'll just have to see how it goes here's another take um from julian it's pretty pretty big basically jupiter's stance is to accelerate the meta to go with something that could improve it all right enough of that you can make your own decisions i don't have a decision for or against to be perfectly honest with the last thing but i think um that i'm going to cover it more i think it's relevant meteora has some new things that they've pushed so rug check a link to rug check so you can check and see if whatever you're jumping into looks like it's going to rug and a few other things to help those in the meme coin world here, next bit of news from FP Lee is a cloud launch retrospective. I think people are going to be a little bit upset with uh, continuing to talk about cloud because they, they did feel like they missed out significantly. And I can understand that point of view. I've said um, publicly that I think the earnestness allocation was too high. But I also have said publicly that I think earnestness was a very good idea. Now, either way, in terms of like the money flowing back into the LSTs, it's going up. It's all, almost back at a million billion dollars again. So I don't expect any any FUD to actually damage the product. But um, basically goes over, you know, what's next. And also he said, like, in hindsight, 50-50 was too much. Identifying earnest people. So that 50% was split amongst too few. Airdrops of gifts and so on and so on. Now, the really cool thing about this is Kane. So the person they'll be doing a podcast with from Infinex. He has a very interesting take on this. And this guy is a proper OG in the space. He's worth, I don't know what he's worth, hundreds of millions. And this is going to be really interesting because he has an entire viewpoint, which is you shouldn't be airdropping in general. We'll clarify it on the podcast, but because it doesn't have people aligned. You basically, you now have industrialized farming. Now, this didn't really work with industrialized farming here. So this, this is where I agree that it worked. The issue was it was too much, but basically... You have people going out and just, you know, 100 different wallets. They have a code set up and they can out farm your genuine users. So that's what needs to be avoided. Either way, you can read this if you like. But basically, this is uh, season one's done, but they'll figure out a way to do it in the future, especially now that the short term farmers have started to leave. We have already received many excellent suggestions. Exactly how they use the tokens for season two, I don't know, but we'll find out. Post here from Sloth, tokenless protocols on Solana. Check them out if you want to go and keep on that kind of airdrop narrative or at least using something that you may like and maybe get rewarded. And have a look here at this, the duration of reward systems. So I just wanted to mention this because Grass have been farming their community for 400 days. So that's really scary. Margin fire as well, almost at 400. That's pretty crazy. I would say Sanctum was too short. That should have been a little bit longer. Dflow, I haven't even got into this um and and i don't know what the sweet spot is but when you're at f over a year of farming that's pretty crazy congratulations to lulu they are now part of the circle alliance program so circle is a parent company behind usdc one of my favorite dApps out there make sure you've given it a, given it a go moonwalk fitness for those that want to get fit start doing some steps they now have the ascent page which basically shows a leaderboard and if you are at present only in austin and college station in texas then give teleport a try and then let me know how it is like literally just put in the comments update on teleport and just i want to hear about how it is because it's only in a couple of cities so far they're looking to move but it's an uber competitor and i think it has amazing product market fit they have to navigate 
the bureaucracy of you know licensing and all that sort of stuff but the fact that they take less money is really really cool mert has a point here on client diversity on solana this is really cool because anza which is the team behind another validated client because you generally want to have quite a few validated clients so if there's a bug with one the blockchain still works fine i don't know the exact gold number of that you want to have but maybe it's like five ten something quite quite a few alexandra says if we're not faster than fire dancer in a year i will quit my job so that's pretty incredible well done maybe give this person a follow and an update on holdium i'm still holding all of my holdium i haven't i haven't sold any of it i still want them to go and open up a meteor pool so that would be good if they can do that but 1.46 million burned i have no idea what the token is looking like we can go and have a quick look at it maybe it's even in the link tree to bird eye chart so this is a token here if you're good at technical analysis you can maybe identify a range and work out if it's worth buying and then selling buying and then selling buying and then selling because it could be so you gotta have one wallet where you just hold it and then another wallet where you actively trade it before we get into the actionables i have there's two positions i need filled all round crypto intern this is on super team earn it will be linked below this is an intern role so like the goal with these things is basically you ask plenty of questions, you, you hustle, you learn a whole lot. And then if I get pinged every day or if other people in my team get pinged every day for guidance or whatever, you get it. But basically you level up faster than you would by yourself, right? However, when it terms in terms of pay, like this is not going to be something that you're going to just like be able to retire off. I'm I'm not going to pay peanuts, but I'm, I'm, I can't pay like a whole lot of money. This is an intern role. There are some intern roles out there that are really, really good, such as Phantom, like 140,000. But when you have that kind of intern role, that's not really an intern role. They call it an intern role, but you actually have to be like the most creative meme lord master in the in the universe. We also need one for validator.com um, to help us with a lot of things, uh, memes, Twitter, uh, Reddit, all that sort of stuff. And we haven't had many. So apply for this one as well if you're good because even though it doesn't say you know Seb Monty will give you direction the reality is I am the general manager of validator.com so I will be giving you direction the goal will be for you to make some uh, decent internal gains in your mind and also hopefully some decent gains financially just by learning how to navigate these crazy markets let's move on to the actionables so the first part, of course, reminder, wait till August the 1st, if you're keen, to claim your full cloud allocation. Turn on notifications for community update on PYUSD Borrow. I believe that there could be a pump up this week. I don't know what day. I'm not that privy to information, just it will be pumping up this week. Check out Cloud and INS Meteor LP on Camino. Watch my video on claiming airdrops and watch my Infinex video. Also, on the Infinex video, let me know any questions for Kane. Airdrop actionables, Infinex crate, seven days left. If you've got any of the tokens that are going to give you some boost, W, JTO, Dupe, or Ray, as well as the go and deposit them. It could be worthwhile. D bridge points, get into it. Cloud INF Meteor LP on Camino. It earns MET points. Solves tokenless protocols. Guide, misspelling there, but I think you understand what it means. And VSOL, claim your vault points. And also regarding Uprock, if you're into that sort of thing, they have a Dats airdrop campaign that's happening soon or something like that. Go and check it out in Discord. Also regarding the D Pioneers Mint, remember. You've got until the 30th of this month to go mint if you initially signed up as a, as a pre-buyer, as a pre-seller. I will reiterate once again that I like what they aim to do. I do not think they executed brilliantly in an organized way to make it happen in the last kind of month. But I'm personally going to mint my NFTs. If you don't mint the NFTs, then you've paid one soul. And from the information I have, you'll get 0.5 soul refunded. So that was kind of the risk you had to take. I do hope they do well. It does have product market fit, but it needs attention. And I don't think the NFT art was amazing. And I don't think they understood how much work an NFT kind of community takes. Having said that, I do think they can make it good, but that's just a risk you have to weigh up yourself. That's all for today. Catch you in the next video.